Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their true intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and not every reading will resonate for you. All right, Virgo, spirits, angels, guides. What guidance, messages, insight do you have for Virgo? regarding their connection at this time. Virgo, this will be a reading for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, so let's see what's going on in your connection at this time for Virgo. Three of Swords reverse. Okay, so this could be healing from heartbreak, healing from pain, overcoming difficulty in love and the chariot. Yeah, you're definitely leaving this behind. You or another person's leaving uh, pain in the past. Cancer energy with the chariot. There could be moves happening in your connection or moves that you are taking. You or another person. Now, when I initially uh, see these energies, I'm thinking of someone leaving a painful connection. The Empress, beautiful. I am picturing, it's almost like someone is leaving uh, a situation behind and moving forward, moving past it, uh, maybe into something that's more abundant, more uh, successful. Tell me about the chariot. Now, Virgo, this could be you, this could be your person. If there is a third party situation, because I do have the Three of Swords reverse, someone could be leaving a third party. I, I see all of those messages here. Can I get one more for the chariot? page of wands. Yes, yeah, someone's definitely headed towards something new. Taking the initiative to start something new. Tell me about the Empress. What do we need to know about the Empress for Virgo? Seven of Pentacles reverse. So I feel whoever is moving forward, it's because they initially possibly planted seeds somewhere that didn't grow. Um, Perhaps they've been waiting for something to improve, something to grow, something to manifest, and it just hasn't happened with the Seven of Pentacles reverse. However, it's not like you don't have what it takes. The Empress is here. She's able to grow, manifest, create. <clears throat> she has all of the resources that she possibly needs. So um, this could be you, this could be your person, like I said, flip it as it resonates for you. But um, I feel like whoever's the one that's leaving is the one that's creating something new for themselves. Because the Page of Wands is here with the Chariot. Can I get one for the Three of Swords reverse? What's going on with the Three of Swords reverse? Seven of Swords. So someone could have deceived you. Or there could have been a situation you were in that was unfair to you. There could have been um, things that were hidden from you that were done behind your back. And you had um, a reading like this, Virgo. Bottom of the deck is the moon reverse, Pisces energy. You had a reading like this recently. Check your uh, playlist if this resonates for you. Because there was like a reading about... Oh man, what was it? I feel like I want to look it up now. <laughs> hmm. I don't know... There was like a reading uh, recently that dealt with you um, in a situation that it just wasn't fair to you or someone was kind of mistreating you. So this could be a continuation of that. Something definitely came out here though with the moon reverse and the seven of swords. Um, whatever happened here with the seven of swords, I feel like you found out or you're aware of it or whoever, you know, if this is your person, um, then they found out and they're aware of it. The reason that I'm saying you or them is because this is the energies in the connection. So both of your energies are here. I don't get the sense that this is you. I, I feel like this chariot is going towards something completely new. So I don't think this is about a situation where you are with this person or you're moving forward with this person. Because the page of wands is almost like someone starting over. The Wheel of Fortune reverse, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone is definitely, this could be somebody, um, 
taking a new job, taking on a new project, working on something. Um, and it's possibly taking some time with the Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles. You might be um, experiencing financial difficulties here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, the Wheel of Fortune Reverse is, is typically a card about things taking some time to develop. Um, sometimes it feels like you're going against the current. Um, you know, the movement and the momentum is not as smooth going with the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. However, the wheel is always turning. Um, so just because it might feel this way now doesn't mean that's going to be like that forever. It just possibly means you need to work on something a little bit harder or put your efforts into something a little bit more than you are. I want to get one more before I jump into the energies between you. What else do we need to know about this connection for Virgo? What else do we need to know about this connection? Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is headed in a great direction. And I got that energy with the Empress. As soon as I saw her, I was like, okay, this isn't going to be all bad. I feel like whoever is um, taking the initiative towards something new, they're going to be very happy at the end of the day. Um, they're going to have their possibly their um, wishes fulfilled. And it's probably because they're going to be planting seeds somewhere else. There you are, the Hermit. Virgo energy showing up to your own reading. You're thinking about this, planning for this, taking your time with this, Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You know, I feel like you're probably the Empress or you're the one that's having an Empress mindset. Where can I grow? Um, where can I invest? Um, where can I put all of my resources so that I'm actually successful, so that I actually make something happen out of this? And I feel like this is you, Virgo, thinking about this. So let's see. Um, what you are thinking, feeling about each other. What are the energies between you? Going here. For Virgo. For Virgo and their person spirit. What are the energies between Virgo and their person? What are their energies? What are the energies between Virgo and and their person. What are their energies between Virgo and their person? The energies between Virgo and their person. Tell me about Virgo. Now, Virgo, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. We have true love and patiently waiting. So I feel like you're waiting for someone that treats you the way you want to be treated. Maybe you're waiting for someone that... Um, is your true love the person that truly cares for you? Maybe you're waiting for a connection that is meaningful. Tell me about the person Virgo is or has been dealing with. Pure seduction. Tell me about the person Virgo is or has been dealing with. What do we need to know? We have balancing act and judgment call. Bottom of the deck, time out. Well, this person is thinking of a final decision of some sort or thinking of a judgment call that they might be needing to make here. But with Balancing Act, I'm getting that they might be going back and forth, back and forth. And it's probably because they're unfocused. And I wonder why, why they're unfocused. What's going on? What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Virgo? What else do we need to know? Can get one more for Virgo, please? To move out Virgo. False person. Interesting. Tell me about the person Virgo is or has or will be dealing with. I don't need to know about them. Poverty. This person is missing something. Um, bottom of the deck, I have marriage. I, I can't 
make out if this is somebody new or if this is somebody you're already dealing with. My guess is that this is, and, and I mean a person that you're already dealing as in you're in a connection with them already. Because you have false person on your side, so it's almost like maybe you're having trust issues or you're not trusting um, of others, or maybe you don't trust this particular person. I got one more for Virgo and this other person. Yeah, you don't trust. I feel, but I wonder if it's this particular person that you don't trust because you have been deceived or messed with um, and it's caused you to be very guarded, I feel. However, yeah, and this person isn't helping the, the situation. I think there's conflict with this person. I think I don't think this is the person coming into your life. I think this is the person you've dealt with or are dealing with right now. And I think this person, um, they don't have it together right now. There's something going on with them and I'm trying to figure out what it is. <clears throat> Can I get some insight please for Virgo? Please ignore my dogs in the background. I hope that they're, the mic isn't picking them up at all. They're in the living room, growling and barking at the window. <laughs> Can I get some more insight, please, into the energies between Virgo and this other person? Ace of Cups, Two of Swords on your side. What else can you give me for Virgo? What else for Virgo? This one wanted to come out. Ten of Wands, Reverse. Can I get one more for Virgo? Three of Wands, okay. This makes a lot of sense, Virgo. I feel like you're the one that's thinking about a different path because I have the Ten of Wands reverse and then the Three of Wands right next to it. Almost like, I just want to be done with this. I want to see what else is out there for me. I'm waiting for something to come in that's better for me. Um, however, with the Two of Swords, I also sense that you're a little bit blocked and it could be because you don't trust other people or you've been burned. And so it's not so easy for you to open up. Um, I think also with this person, I don't know if this is completely over. Maybe you are undecided about completely severing this or ending this because I have the Ace of Cups here. So it's either you're thinking about real love and what that means for you. Uh, and is it coming in for you? Because I have the Ace of Cups and Three of Wands. Or you have feelings for this particular person. However and you want to possibly let go of a burden that this person has placed on you or that this connection has become, but you, you're not sure if you can do that. Let's see. What's this Two of Swords about? What's this Two of Swords about? What's this Two of Swords about? Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're debating whether you should end this for good. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Page of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. It's probably because um, this has been very difficult for you, very heartbreaking. What the the circumstances surrounding this connection right now, and I think it's almost like and, and, and honestly, Virgos, you've been in this for a while. Uh, I feel like I've had several readings where Virgo's just ready for something new. Virgo's ready for something that is worth their time and effort. And I feel like you've been waiting for this. Yeah, look at this Three of Wands with the world. You re you're ready to go, but the Fool's reversed at the bottom of the deck. There's something holding you back here. And this has been an ongoing theme with Virgos, I swear, on my channel at least. So if this is resonating for you, you will find other readings out there. However, you know, and I feel like I sound like a broken record on my channel. I like, I'm always talking about cycles ending in order for new ones to begin. You cannot have both at the same time. And I think this is the case here. Something needs to end in order for you to have this world that you desperately are thinking about or wanting. And that's probably why you haven't taken that leap of faith yet or there are delays and it's because this has to be completely closed tell me about the person 
Virgo is dealing with here. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about them? No, they have the fire ant and poverty. So whatever they're, they've gotten themselves into over there, or whatever situation you guys are dealing with, I think they, they've their role has not been a good one. Or that things are not working out great for this person. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Maybe they're having financial problems or causing financial problems here. Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's no, there's something that's not working out on their end. Okay, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Maybe they're taking their time doing something. Maybe they're trying to find their balance. Nine of Cups. Oh. Four of Swords. So with Temperance and the Four of Swords, I'm getting someone that is probably taking a really long time to do something. And it's because they want something or they have in mind, um, how do I say this? Um, they're thinking of their own needs here with the Nine of Cups. This is someone that's thinking of what they want to achieve, um, thinking about what they can get, um, working for themselves, enjoying their own, the fruits of their own labor, that kind of energy. The Nine of Cups sometimes for me can appear uh, a bit like self-involved, like someone that's just thinking of themselves and their own satisfaction and fulfillment. So I feel like this person is probably trying to, yeah, there's the, the pure seductions card is here. They're being tempted or they want something um, and possibly that has gotten them into financial difficulties or it's making problems for you or this connection in some way. Because the six of wands is reversed here. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Why is the Six of Wands reverse? No, oh, I got two. Queen of Wands and the Empress. And the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Well, that's you. Knight of Cups reverse. The Chariot. Ooh. Oh, this is you leaving. This is you going on this journey. Why do they... Okay. Tell me about temperance. Tell me about temperance. King of Swords reverse. Tell me... Yeah, I'm not getting a good feeling here. Tell me about temperance. Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like this person, if this is the person you are moving away from, they're not happy about it. They're going to try to stop you. Didn't you have a reading? Yeah, the November you and them was very similar to this. Hmm... And also the November 2021 reading. I think this is a continuation of that reading. If you resonated with that reading, or um, then this one's for you. If, if this is resonating for you, you should probably watch those other readings. This person is a block for you. Whether they are a romantic partner, a friend, a parent, a co-worker, a boss, fill in the blank, does not matter. This person, um, for whatever reason is trying to delay your departure or prevent you from leaving because it serves them in some way. Can I get one more? I'm trying to figure out why, why this is happening. Can I get one more for this person? Can I get one more energy, please, for this person? Seven of Cups reverse and the Six of Cups. So I feel like this is someone that it's almost like they might be using the past or children or good times, good memories as like their reason. Um, but the Seven of Cups is reversed, which Seven of Cups reverse can mean two things. Number one, there's no longer uh, an illusion about which 
cup you're choosing. Someone knows what cup they want. And number two, the other option is like it was a mistake or a wrong cup that someone chose. Can I get one more for these energies here? Can I get one more for these energies here? I think that this is this um, person probably used the past to confuse you to um, yeah and I feel like you're waking up to that seven of wands you're waking up to this tactic that this person likes to use if they use children if they use the past they could even be blaming you for things in the past like you made a mistake or you did this and so it's kind of the way of for them to ha kind of have control it's very interesting. Let me get one of these for your person. Can I get some insight into this person's thought, thoughts, feelings when it comes to Virgo or this connection? I think your 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 energy is very clear. Ten of Swords in the world. There's only one way to interpret that. But their energy is a little bit more all over the place with the fire ant, balancing act, you know, I'm getting someone that is hot and cold. I'm getting someone that causes drama or difficulty. Just being near you is intoxicating. Oh, this person could be toxic. Bottom of the deck, my life is not as together as it seems. Exactly what I'm picking up. There's something about this person that's a bit off. This is hard. This person could be refusing to let you go for whatever reason, um, Virgo. If you are dealing with a situation like that, leave me a comment down below. Are you dealing with a person that maybe you want to get away from, but for whatever reason you can't? Or this person could be making things difficult for you in this new cycle that you're headed towards? And I feel like that's what this is about. They... It's almost like you need to protect yourself because I have false person and hyena here. So I don't know if you're already aware of this, but I feel like there's trust issues here, but for a good reason. And it's almost like you're trying to protect yourself. Um, but there's something here with love or emotions. You might be emotionally manipulated or trying not to be emotionally manipulated. It's really strange. And it's hard to tell because this person is so all over the place, you know? It's almost like they um, they jump hoops to hoops and you can't really get a sense of them. Or they surprise you with something or other, you know? And you can't really, like, focus. Um, so that's what I have here for uh, you and them, how you're feeling towards each other, what's the situation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more readings from me. It also helps um, YouTube know which videos you enjoy uh, and it shows you more videos from me. So uh, thank you so much for all of your support and your kind comments and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.